Seoul, South Korea, July 19th, 내부순환로 마장 송동 구간 역시 양방향입니다. 불광천 증산철교 하부도로 양재천로 영동일교 하부도. 토렌셜 레인 파운드 더 사우스 코리안 캐피탈 소울 앤 서라운딩 에리어스 온 Thursday, causing rivers to overflow, inundating highways and triggering evacuations. 이곳은 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 
Commuters in the Seoul metropolitan area were also affected as several roads and subways were closed due to the rain. In Seoul, both directions of the Dongbu Expressway, which connects Jiangi province and the city, were temporarily suspended due to heavy rain. Several sections of the Nebu Toll Road were also closed, although they were reopened at 10.45 a.m. Subway line number one Seoul, which runs from Yonkian Station to Dabongsan Station, was also temporarily suspended during the morning rush hour and did not begin service until 4 p.m. Corail, the national rail operator, said on Thursday that it cannot be confirmed whether it will be able to resume operations due to persistent rain. Entrances to 29 streams and four riverside parking lots in central Seoul were also closed due to safety concerns. The Korea Forest Service raised the landslide warning to the highest level of serious for Seoul, Incheon, Jiangi and Kangwon provinces starting at 7.30 a.m. and appealed to the public to immediately evacuate to a safe place in case of an emergency. As of 2 p.m., a landslide warning had been issued for Gangbuk-gu, Jongyo-gu and Sia Demon-gu in northern and central Seoul. As of this writing, Seoul has not reported any fatalities due to Thursday's heavy rain, but three fallen trees, one house submerged in floodwaters, and two traffic accidents due to slippery roads have been reported in the capital. Until 14.15, the Jamsu Bridge near Siachogu, downtown Seoul, temporarily stopped vehicles and pedestrians entering the bridge because the water level in the Han River rose above 6 meters due to heavy rain. As the Ministry of Interior raised its alert level from caution to caution, for the greater Seoul area. Interior Minister Lee Sang-min ordered all possible personnel and resources to be mobilized to minimize further damage from heavy rains. Meanwhile, the KMA added in its briefing on Thursday that additional heavy rain is expected to fall in areas already hit by heavy rain. According to the weather agency, Korea will see more rain across the country through Saturday, with the greater Seoul area seeing up to 150 millimeters of rain on Friday. According to the Korea Meteorological Agency, KMA, the Seoul metropolitan area experienced more than 50 mm of rainfall per hour this morning. Pyong Take received 88.5 mm, Payu 69.8 mm, and Yonkian Gun 58.5 mm, severely limiting visibility. In general, rainfall of more than 30 mm per hour is considered heavy, and more than 50 mm is considered very heavy. Panmunjiam in Payu recorded 634 mm over two days almost half of Paiu's average annual rainfall of 1,295.8 mm. Incheon saw 328.5 mm and Seoul 208 mm.